Hello guys, Sedasaurser here again, and welcome to the basement. If you're unfamiliar with this map, it was a very, it was the first map that myself and Isaac did on Machinima Realm, and it has been about a year since the first episode was ever uploaded. And what better way to celebrate it than to redo it again, but as a speedrun form. But um, before we get started here, I want to discuss real fast. I changed a little bit of my speedrun rules for my custom maps. Now let me just pull it up right here and just read it real fast because two rules changed. Uh, I'll be flashing them on the screen so you can see all the rules, but the major changes were, was rule number two about shortcuts. I pretty much removed the fact, uh, for example, in my, what's it called, the Lost Base series, I was thinking about doing um, a shortcut or doing a speedrun of it. Then I realized I could skip the, the entire map by just walking on the flatlands and or parkouring on the fences. So I decided to add those two rules right here. You can't fence parkour and or jump on the you know puzzles. Basically jump on the buildings just to skip to the next part. And if the map is flatland generated you can't cross it. Even though it was made by the map maker um, that's kind of cheating if you know what I mean. And the last rule here where it said state creepers I deleted that completely because I think that if a creeper blows up by you know you luring it to the end that's kind of cheating so you know what I would rather play the map the way the map maker wanted it to and of course I would do it you know I would do it as fast as I possibly can so um, before we get started here I'm just gonna give you a brief rundown of the rules so right here is the lost oh not the lost base <laughs> the basement adventure map um, there are a few few rules no spawning items no breaking blocks other than snow wait you can only break snow blocks so that's a snow block right there uh, you can burn wool with the light provided. Do you play on normal difficulty? Set your. Or, I'm not gonna be doing the glowstone one because I'm just doing this as a speed run. Uh, you can only place blocks apart from pressure pads. It means plates. Um, have fun and leave me feedback on the forums. Now, unfortunately, this last one, the, the map maker, which I believe was Little SM, deleted his form thread of the basement episode one and two. So, unfortunately, um, I can't even. Uh, communicate with that guy and this right here was actually a remake of the original one I had before now at the very back over there you remember the whole cutscene with Amp Venom and everyone like that uh, I had to refix that and make it work again basically this map was that good old cutscene world and this is the only map I have that wasn't destroyed by lava or TNT thank you Isaac and whoever well <laughs> I think it was also Dan that was helping with that by the way, I think we're going to start here. Oh yeah, uh, there was some side rolls, which I don't know why he didn't place them here. Uh, there's some tools down here, and I can only break down birch trees, which is stupid, wood, and the most important ones, bookcases, which I'm going to do. So, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. So the first thing I want to do here is quickly break this wool here. Grab this. Quickly break this one. Get a boat. Get him on the boat and start sailing off. Selling off to this area over here. Now everything inside the actual housing or the buildings behind me were really meant for just this aesthetics, the storyline, and um, what's it called? Glowstone. Now of course uh, I'm doing this as a speed run. Oh, this one over here. I was gonna say, did I honestly break it? <laughs> but yeah, um, in this one, I'm pretty sure it was 1.4 that myself and Isaac did it. And wow, what an awesome way to start a speed run by falling down. Not even trying, and there was no sprinting, so I don't even have to sprint on this part. Oh yeah, but there was uh, a pressure plate over here, so let me just park over here. Do some epic parkour you just saw right there. Just skip like a bunch of things right there, and I need to make them into pressure plates, not pads, because pads sound very dirty. I think I could actually just skip to the other side. Yeah, I could just skip over here. <laughs> awesome for sprints. And the next thing is to find a pressure plate over here. Now I do remember that there was a, uh, oh god, I can't believe it on normal. <laughs> Get some food along the way. There we go. Raw food. I don't think a raw fish gives you food poisoning. I'm pretty sure pork does. No, it was chicken. Chicken gives you food poisoning. Okay, so breaking the snow here and I'm going to get whatever was down here, which I think was a flint and steel. Okay. So I'll come over here. I'll fall down to the secret lava. Get cobblestone furnace, the wood. Oh yeah, um, I would do uh, tips and tricks on this later, but um, just for the time being, I'm going to make myself pressure plates. 
Now, let me think. Uh, I was going to do the second episode with Isaac, but I'm thinking we shall not. Or I think we may do it some other time. Uh, because the, the one thing I was told the map maker I actually um, talked to him almost just like I did Chillix. Um, was that, oh no, I think I should smell the rest of it. What am I doing? <laughs> um, where the, there it goes. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to make a pressure plate here. And I accidentally, you know, poop. Uh, so much for a speed run. <laughs> that was, that was derby on my part because I forgot I needed to make two. One to get it out and one to open the other door. But, um, the main reason why I never did the second episode very soon for the Basement series is because, uh, lesson learned. You should never kill your, um, yourself in a series. Because if you ever want to do a sequel, you can't bring yourself back from the dead. Yeah, um, basically, if you never watched the Basement series I had on Machinima Realm, um, I killed myself. Or I let Anfinum kill me. Like, you know, like, this is how a real man play Minecraft, and slice me with a sword. Now, I was going to think of some um, way to integrate uh, a story with it, like, I come back from the dead, or, like, there's a sub-storyline, but it was just very confusing and very blah, whatever. So, over here, this is some coal, quickly place, oh, yeah, this one here requires all the little switches. And then now, I go place it. There we go. And basically, um, let me just watch the little engine that cooked green eggs and ham. Pretty sure that was a lame ass joke that I made in the series at this point. I don't know, I think I was proud of it. But yeah, I think this was actually episode 3 by the time I reached this area. Pretty sad. And yeah, pretty, pretty annoying. But like I said, never kill your yourself in a series. Just in case you ever want to come back to it. I think, um, in a production standpoint, that's that's true because I think I saw this one documentary like Sylvester Stallone wanted to like kill off Rocky in the fifth one and they were saying no you don't kill off your lead you don't kill off the iconic person or whatever um, I'm pretty sure in the basement series at this point this is what I believe episode 4 and basically I think this thing's still busted because I tried this so many times and apparently I can't I can never get it. And yeah, the map maker never put as many snowballs as I wanted to. And I can't really pick a momentum because the stupid things in the way. But if I do it over here, can I make it? Put it over there. Come on. It's, it's I know it's that one because um I looked at the wiring after the first ep or after this whole series on Realm, and I realized that we were doing it right, but the way that's positioned is just stupid. I don't think it's even possible. So, if it's not possible again for the second time doing this, I'm just gonna break down the door. As you see here, I'm doing it. I'm aiming for it, and it's just not working. I don't think I need this book, so I'm gonna throw the books as well. Throw everything I can. Oh, there we go. I made it. Ooh, lucky. Lucky me. And I'm pretty sure this was the sword was, the other stuff. And I'm pretty sure this was post 1. Point, yeah, this was post 1.8. So that means, oh, uh, here, let me eat up first. So that means, um, sprinting's loud. Well, then again, I was on a freaking server. And trying to get the freaking. There we go, there we go. Open the door and run. Uh, only problem was that when I did this on the first on the first time I went around, uh, it was on Tony's server, Skitscape server, and apparently, um, you know how trollish him and Alex were. Uh, they were pretty much um, <laughs> join the server, whatever, and just annoying us. And I believe it was the third episode that I pretty much had to like edit a crap ton of crap out. No, I think it was the fourth one. Yeah, it was the fourth episode because I remember. Um, it was before the little cutscenes and everything like that. And yeah, basically, Alex and Tony were trolling us. I had to cut down a lot of things. Um, and that's kind of the reason why I kind of needed to, you know, get better internet to host my own server now. Because I can't rely on other people's server to um, do a let's play. Get that out of the way. Um. Um, can't remember what else was here. Nope, there was nothing else here. It was just food. 
And I'm pretty sure I still have the coal ready. Ah, oh, this is a little button trick. Let's try this. Button first, and then button... Uh, did I make it? Yes, I made it. I think I made it the first time in the actual series as well. Okay, so let me sprint over here. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I forgot to mention something. I think you would have seen the same texture pack I'm using, although um, a few textures did change since the, um, the basement series on Realm compared to my newest, you know, fixed version of my um, texture pack now. There's something down here, glowstone. Glowstone is really pointless on the speedrun, so, oh god, little creeper. He's just having his own little, oh, I have some ammunition here. <laughs> Good thing I have this bow and arrow. Let's see if I could actually just jump from one side to the other. Ah, oh, I'm a beast at parkour. Uh, or how Isaac says, platforming. Get the little cobblestone here. Where, where was the furnace? The furnace was here. There it is. Uh, let's see, put this here. Fence, thing, cobble. For the win. Also, um, I'm not sure how well this mic quality is because, um, I changed a little bit of my settings, however, I'm getting a new microphone very soon. Um, it's, of course, it sounds like I'm jumping on the bandwagon when, you know, like you hear Anfinum has it, Caveman Films has it, Skitscape has it, but um, they recommended me the microphone because they said it's a very good microphone and um, I have to take their word for it because I, their quality is way better than what the mic they had when they first got started with whatever commentary. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to really spam with the fire here because uh, when I did this with Isaac, it was 1.4 and 1.4 had the um, easy fire burning thingies. Like, it will spread forever. There was no stopping it. But yeah, the mic I'm getting is the AT20, it was the Audio Technica AT2020 um, microphone. Why does this look derpy? I don't recall my texture pack it's supposed to look like that. Unless something changed and I wasn't, I was unaware. Oh, it is a connected texture. So that's right. I have the connection, connected textures on. And apparently, um, there was a missing sand here. So I'm just gonna pretend the sand was there. It's gonna just fly up here. Sorry if it sounds not legit, but basically, um, like I said, this was this map was um, just for that one cutscene. And afterwards, my friend kind of wrecked the place, so I had to. Uh, fix it as much as I could as fast as I could and then we're done this is the end of the map simple yes I know and to have five episodes for like a 12 15 minute video whatever it is pathetic and I try my best to fix this house but yeah that's the reason why the chests here are like not darkened if you saw in some of the other places the chests look very dark it's because when you transfer from 1.7 to 1.8 uh, the chest animated and if you didn't have it, you know, prior to that, well, it didn't register, it, so it places it, and it has, like, this dark tint. It has to be updated with light. But, yeah, that's pretty much it with this whole, um, speed run. I don't know how long it took because I had the little intro, but, um, there was a creeper over here. And there was Jack and Alex hiding in, in the water. Why am I being getting pushed? Ah, something shooting me. Oh, there's a spider. No, it... I'm going back inside. And the door is a derp, because as you see here, don't know why. This is the 1.2.5 transition. Can't rest while this monster is in, but you! By the way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the speedrun. Uh, if you want any other type of speedruns, um, let me know on what type of maps you want to do, or want me to do. I'll try to keep it as non-cheating as possible, because I kind of like enjoying you know, the map, I don't want to speedrun, like, jumping, oh yeah, let me just show you real fast, right there, that's the end, that right there is the beginning, people mention that in the, um, th in the, um, form thread or whatever, but yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, oh, Enderman, you're not supposed to be in here, this is post 1.8, and this is a weird looking swamp, but, uh, if you guys enjoy, don't forget to give it a like, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do daily Minecraft videos. And if you have any suggestions on any type of speedrun maps you want me to do, leave it in the comments below. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Whee! Yeah! Bam! Broken kneecaps.